Here in the United States, our stamps, paper money, and passports are printed by our own government. But that's not the case in much of the rest of the world. Many nations have these items created by a single private firm based just outside of London. De La Rue has been in business for more than two centuries and is known for offering clients both style and security. Roxana Saberi has their story. Big Ben turns to gold and turtles take a ride in wallets when designers at British company Delarue transform ideas into money. Beneath the, the pretty designs actually is it's a piece of critical national infrastructure. Economies rest on banknotes. Creative and, director Julian Payne says while low. Friday art class is part of the work week, the mission that designers here face is serious and far reaching. Everything here except uh, the US dollar, US dollar. Um, we've designed. Della Rue has designed more than a third of the world's bills, from the UK's sterling to the Seychelles rupee and the Fijian dollar. And while most Americans use credit cards, 30% of the world's adults don't even have a bank account. You have to understand how people use their money. This is um, an example of how people, some, some people fold money uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. And then it's stored in interesting places as well. So they will store it in their clothes, in underwear, under in the shoes, bed. under the bed, absolutely under the doormat. So they're not going to take it to the bank. So that money that you create has to be sturdier. Durable, exactly. Durable and complex to stay a step ahead of counterfeiters. Our job is to make these uneconomic to copy. The company's own team of hackers tries to copy the designs, which often involves sophisticated security details like holograms and ultraviolet imaging. We have applied features. Head designer Steve Pond says balancing security with durability and design isn't easy. You're trying to pack a lot of stuff into a very small space. You're trying to be technically competent. You're trying to be innovative, so it, it challenges you, and you're only as good as your last jobs. Jobs like reflecting the Maldives' growing concern about the environment. Rising sea levels, they're a low-lying country. So there's a turtle um, so you on see, here. Exactly. So there's an environmental message on there, 1,000 rufia, a whale shark on the back, um, and turtles on the front. And commemorating the 100th birthday of the late Nelson Mandela. You probably don't get much more iconic than that. Every country has their heroes and wants them portrayed in a way that, that is respectful, in a way that also is symbolizes and summarizes in a, a simple way that people can just get. But sometimes countries want to forget and move on. When Saddam Hussein fell in 2003, Delarue drew up new Iraqi bills without his image. Jumbo jets were flown in and we printed them and designed them in record time. And, and, but, uh, How fast? God, it was like within a year, under a year. The company also marked the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi with a limited edition bill to raise money for charity. With wow. the UV, you can light the up lightsaber. the lightsaber. Yeah, exactly. Lights up. <laughs> <laughs> and when designs like these come together, Pond says, the payoff is priceless. And what's so exciting about it? Well, it's a fantastic piece of work, isn't it, really? <laughs> it is, I it mean, is. It's a great product. And, you, you know, as a designer of banknotes, you get to, to see people holding your, your art every day. You know, it's, it's a fantastic thing. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, London.